Hi, this is Jeff, host of Jedi Jeff's Basement. This is a YouTube video type kind of uh, video series which I decided to host where I will review different collectibles that I have in my basement, hence why it's called Jedi Jeff's Basement. Uh, I originally started this out as a podcast. It was kind of a visual podcast where I'd take pictures and talk about the different collectibles I had. And I put out six episodes of that, but I kind of started and stopped and it just never really seemed to take hold and I found that it took a lot of time for me to take the pictures and then I was trying to do some nice things with the pictures but I'm not sure if they look really nice and just overall over over the past couple of years trying to get that kind of that podcast going I just really never really liked the format of it and kind of looking at how popular uh, different YouTube series are I thought, you know what, this really more lends itself to a YouTube type um, presentation, more so than a podcast presentation. So I have six episodes of Jedi Just Basement. This will be episode number seven, but I have six, six episodes previously, which, are, uh, which you can find on my website at uh, JediJeff.ca, and you can uh, kind of watch them there. And then uh, starting from this uh, episode going forward, it's going to be a YouTube uh, presented series. I think it'll be better. Uh, just uh, just a better way to uh, to bring about this uh, this kind of uh, topic that I have. Like say, I think it's just a lot easier for uh, me to kind of video uh, the the collectibles I have, talk about them. You know, I you know before when I took pictures. Uh, the, the listeners, they're kind of uh, limited to the pictures that I take. Uh, now with the video, I'm able to maybe um, uh, give a person a better sense of the item that I'm talking about. So I think it's just a better way to go. So um, after uh, probably well over a year uh, since my previous uh, kind of podcast or where I talked about some collectibles, now I'm back and uh, this is going to be a monthly uh, web series. Uh, so I hope everyone... Um, uh, sticks around and listens to it and uh, hopefully over time we'll get better at this uh, you know it, it's a little different now for me going from uh, you know just doing something uh, strictly audio to doing a video so I'm gonna have a it's gonna take a while to get comfortable with the camera and things like that but I think it'll be better for the uh, show and I thought I was thinking about what's the first topic I'm going to do for my uh, my video series or the relaunch of Jedi Just Basement as a video series and uh, I just got a collectible in a couple days ago and I thought you know what this is a perfect uh, collectible to kick off the show because it's kind of a grand uh, grand uh, collectible to talk about and on this podcast I'll be talking about uh, the uh, Thor's hammer from uh, the movie uh, The Avengers. Uh, it's called Mjolnir. So I'm going to talk about that. Uh, I'm going to go through quite a bit of stuff. Like I said, I'm going to unbox it, and then uh, then also I'm going to go through and, and you know just uh, take some video and, and some close-ups of the um, of the prop and just give everyone uh, kind of a good idea of uh, of the the collectible and, and kind of uh, what it's all about and uh, what it comes with and all that and I think it's a really great way to start off the uh, the newly launched Jedi Jeff's Basement as a YouTube uh, video series so anyways I'll be back with the uh, Mjolnir kind of uh, unboxing and review so uh, stick around this is the uh, box that uh, the uh, Thor Hammer Mjolnir came in uh, it comes from uh, EFX collectibles uh, this is just kind of their packing box uh, you can see they've got it all uh, taped up here. Uh, it looks like it's got some markings on here. Uh, it's got the EFX logo, their website, uh, some uh, part number, then, then Thor Mjolnir from the Avengers. And uh, that's about it. Handle with care, this side up. All the typical kind of things that you would see in a, uh, in a packing box, I guess. Uh, so I, I guess uh, I got my uh, trusty knife here. So I'm going to... Uh, cut into this box and um, this will be uh, first time for me seeing this uh, this uh, wonderful collectible uh, really uh, really excited for it and uh, so without further ado here I go So 
So we've got uh, just a piece of cardboard here, which, uh, just to protect it. Oh, this is nice. They've got a, uh, they've got a picture of uh, Thor, limited edition uh, Mjolnir, uh, nice Avengers uh, type uh, little diagram here. Doesn't look like there's a, a nice box or anything. This is kind of the shipping box, I guess, that this comes in. Um, I've gotten some other uh, EFX items uh, uh, as well, too, and it kind of came in this uh, similar type of uh, presentation. Uh, so they've got kind of just a nice cover here. So I'll take that out. Again, uh, that's what it looks like. Uh, kind of interesting. Kind of nice. Uh, nice artwork on it, I guess. Uh, uh, interesting. What do we got here next? So, um, again, I'll be flipping the box around. We've got, uh, looks like, um, looks like they've got uh, some uh, documentation here. This is probably like the certificate of authenticity or, or whatever, which uh, come with this item. A nice little envelope, and then we've got, uh, I'm assuming, uh, I guess I'll find that's oh this looks like some sort of plaque or something like that because it just sits right in this box here. So let's just uh, put this aside here. Okay, and yeah, this is the base. This is the base for the uh, Mjolnir. Uh, like I say, it looks like a nice base. It's solid. Move those there. And uh, what do we got next here? Um, we've got, looks like the base, the, the brackets to hold, hold it in. So they both come in, they come in this nice box kind of in here. So, and this is what it looks like. Take this out and there we go. There we go. We've got uh, we've got Mjolnir, so uh, this is kind of exciting for me. I really like this hammer. I really like Thor. There we go. That's um, Mjolnir all packed up in the box here. Uh, pretty exciting stuff. I guess I'll, I'll kind of go through the little parts here. We've got uh, a little plaque holder. This is uh, for the EFX. Uh, I guess you just, we'll just slide the plaque in. I assume it's in that envelope. So this is the plaque holder. This is, uh, I'm guessing this is a bag to cover the, the hammer in. Uh, I, I guess, uh, maybe if I ever wanted to take the hammer somewhere, I guess I could put it in this bag. I'll have to take this out in a minute. And, uh, of course, the, the main piece for this large bag, large silica gel bag. Oh, smokes. This is... That's... That's a good size hammer. That's... It's good. It's solid, eh? This, this thing's heavy, actually. It's, it's a heavy hammer, so... Uh, just going to move this box and then we'll just kind of go through the parts here. Okay. So let me put these out here. Okay, where to start? Where to start here? Well, it looks like, say, we've got the, the brackets for the stands. Uh, looks like they need some, uh, some uh, screws put in uh, place, and I'll need to get my screwdriver here in a minute. 
uh, I say we've got uh, this bag. Uh, I'm guessing it is to carry carry the Mjolnir, Thor's hammer. Uh, like I say we've got the uh, we've got the um, plaque holder. Documentation. Uh, they've got one one one, so I'm not sure if I've got edition. Uh, uh, Number uh, 111. I guess I'll find out when I open up this documentation. And then we've got the base for the stand. This is pretty interesting. Uh, I think so. I'll take the uh, cover off uh, here uh, momentarily. And then, uh, oh, actually, yeah, you know what? Actually, the stand's this side. This side's the bottom. Of, yeah, again, like I said, with the EFX uh, stuff, they use a uh, nice uh, cover. So, uh, They've got um, they got some markings here on the uh, cover for um, this is some nice kind of acrylic I I, th I believe yeah it says here acrylic so I have to take peel this off funny story is when I got my um, my uh, Battlestar Galactica helmet uh, I actually had the the stand put upside down so so I, I don't plan to do that again also we can see the um, the uh, the the spots to put the uh, the 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 brackets in for for the Mjolnir, so uh, so we'll do that in a in a minute or two. And uh, again, Mjolnir is heavy. It's a good size here, right? So where to start? Maybe we'll start with the documentation here. I'm going to grab here too. Grab my handy uh, kind of uh, gloves that I bought at Sportboski's a few years ago. I use these occasionally to, when I'm handling uh, collectibles because I don't want to get my dirty hands all over it. So I might just wear these while I'm going through the uh, the items here so I don't get fingerprints or or grease from my hands or whatever on the uh, on the item. In a, this is a lot like master replicas they used to come with the with the, this stuff so we've got uh, what do we have here we've got ourselves uh, just a regist registration for the uh, piece uh, it looks like some decals I guess if I chose to stick this somewhere um, we've got uh, their limited warranty policy here We've got, uh, this looks like a nice uh, little book here with, uh, with Thor, the Avengers. So Thor, the Avengers, uh, looks like a little bit of documentation on, on, the, on the prop here. Um, whoever holds this hammer, if be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. Okay, so I guess, um. I guess I can lift it, I can hold the hammer, so I possess the power of Thor. So, uh, good for me. Congratulations, Jeff. So, uh, interesting uh, documentation. Um, this, cert this, cert this certifies that the accompanying collectible is an authentic replica produced by EFX Inc. under official license from Marvel Entertainment LLC. Recreated using the original molds that were used to make the screen used prop and extensive reference photos from the Marvel Studios archive. This replica is an accurate rep reproduction of the prop seen in the Avengers. Each piece is manufactured from quality materials and is assembled and finished by hand. The copyright of Marvel and EFX Inc. certifies its authentic authenticity. Sorry about that. I'm kind of reading upside down here. Okay, and it's got Marvel and the EFX uh, logo on it. Um, yeah, this is a nice piece. And then I um, guess I'll put this back together. Nice little book here. Um, and then we've got the uh, got the uh, 
the, the plaque for the item, and I do have number uh, 111, and it's a worldwide edition of a thousand. Uh, I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought there would be more of these, but uh, I, I guess not. Uh, I really, to be honest, I, when I ordered it, I just really wanted the item. I didn't really even bother to look at the, uh, at the, uh, at the release size. Next up, check this bag out. I'm kind of kind of wondering about this bag, what, what the deal with this is. Sometimes too they send you like real nice, um, ooh this is a nice bag. Oh, that is nice. It's a real nice kind of uh, very soft material. Um, yeah, kind of a velvety type kind of, uh, or suede-ish type kind of uh, bag, which uh, I guess uh, meant to put the, the hammer in, I guess. Uh, so interesting. I'll have to kind of read through a bit more on the uh, documentation here, but um, kind of interesting, um, interesting uh, to say the least. So uh, nice bag. I'm just going to put it over here. I don't want to get dirty. It's such a nice bag. We've got the uh, the little the stand here. Take that out here. Try to get get at it with my got my gloves on here, so it makes it a little harder. And uh, let's see if we can get get this going. Come on, you can come. There we go. So yeah, we got the stand, which I can I'll be able to fit the uh, the plaque in. I like. Um, what uh, EFX has done with these plaques, like in the past, Master Replicas, they had um, it's kind of adhesive on the back, and then you stuck it to the uh, to the plaque, and then uh, you had to have a steady hand to make sure it was uh, nice and, and centered. And then also, uh, sometimes the adhesive kind of came loose, and then the, the plaque would fall off. So I like that they just they kind of re-engineered this just to slide. Very just real simple design, but. Uh, but really nice. I, I really, uh, I really like uh, how they, uh, how they approach this. Uh, again, this is the base. Um, you know what? I'll, I'll just show you guys this uh, later after I got everything uh, set up, because uh, I have to take the uh, the covering off the acrylic and, uh, and and get it set up here. So, so uh, I'll be back. Uh, you know, I'll do that a little later. Grab this documentation here and just move it to the side. Move some of this stuff here and all right, all right. So this is uh, the Milner. See how they've got this uh, sealed here. Okay, they're kind of. Oh, it looks like they've. Uh, yeah, they've uh, vacuum kind of sealed this bag, I guess, here, so trusty knife, and uh, let's uh, open this up. It's all, it's all protected here with uh, some, some kind of uh, kind of packing paper here. Very light, light kind of, uh, real light tissue paper here. Uh, I'd say I, they pack a lot of these collectibles uh, this way with this type of kind of real kind of. I, I'm not sure what they call this paper. I just call it kind of a real tissue type paper or something like that. Um, just gonna be careful here, kind of cutting it off. They got some tape, tape here, so I just wanna. Careful, uh, careful removing it here. Oh, they've got oh, it's a nice, nice leather strap on this thing. Uh, 
I saw some people, apparently I saw some people, they're complaining about, there's some screws right here, they're complaining about that. Um, but apparently I read somewhere that, that this, those are actually on the actual prop. So, uh, so um, that's cool. Uh, to be honest, I, even if it wasn't, uh, I'm not a real fussy guy. Uh, that would have been fine by me. They got this thing very well, uh, well taped here. Okay, there we go. Wow, that's nice. They've got some nice leather, and they've got uh, got some nice metal ribbing here. It's like, wow, this is nice. Don't worry, guys. Later, I you know, once I get all set up, I'll I'll take the camera off the tripod and just kind of go at it this a little closer. Now we'll take the paper off the uh, off the actual hammer. Whoa, this is this is uh, this is looking pretty impressive. There we go. Wow. There we go. It's got like these markings on it from the, the movie. Like say it's a solid solid piece. Uh, like wow like uh, it was expensive, but I could see that they put some uh, nice materials into this. Uh, like I, say, I, I like that they've kind of also too. They've um, this thing's kind of marked up, like it, like it's been been in use. It's not pristine, like uh, like it's been in, in battle with Thor, and uh, looks great. A little piece of paper there. Just oh, just to be honest, I'm just amazed. This, this thing is just uh, it's a beautiful uh, piece of. Uh, Beautiful piece of work, actually. Uh, this, no, wow. This is just kind of just fantastic. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm going to uh, pause the video here. I'm gonna put it in the bag, and I'm going to set the stand up, and I'll be back in a little bit. Uh, we'll take a kind of a closer look of it uh, on uh, on uh, on the desk, and uh, and. Uh, Take a, a good, 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 nice look at it. I'm back now, and I've got uh, the uh, Mjolnir. I got them all un unboxed and unwrapped, and uh, I've set up the set, the stand here. Uh, like I said it's a nice stand. You got uh, kind of a nice acrylic um, top to it. Uh, there's a little Marvel logo here. I'll, I'll take the the camera off the uh, the tripod here in a minute or two, and then I, I kind of do a, a flyby. Around here, but um, the uh, the base is uh, pretty nice. Uh, went together uh, reasonably easy. Um, I had had the screws around a little backwards there for a little bit, but uh, I got it all set up. Uh, like I say we got the um, the plaque uh, set up. Like I say, addition or it's a number zero one 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 out of uh, out of one thousand. Uh, just take this off the base for a second. It, it just kind of sits in this base right here uh, which is nice it seems to hold it uh, pretty solid uh, it's actually it sits really big on the uh, on the desk because I have some other items I put on this uh, display stand but I'm gonna have to kind of move things around because this is so big uh, I was uh, I guess uh, wasn't expecting it to be uh, quite this size but uh, it is a one-to-one -one prop so I guess I uh, should realize that but uh, it sits on these uh, these posts here Put it back on here. Uh, kind of just make sure I get it on decently. I think we got it on pretty solid here. It's a, a decent enough stand. Um, it's, a, it's a classy looking stand. I I've seen other uh, other uh, companies who who put these out and uh, they've got kind of a it's sitting in a rock or something like that. I kind of would have liked something like that, but. Uh, as well, this presentation is nice. It's a nice, real clean kind of look to it. Uh, and I got the little card here with it. Uh, I'll probably just put that back in the um, in the box when I, I box up the uh, box things up. But uh, it looks good. Like say, um, uh, like say, I'm just really impressed with it. And I will, uh, you know, it's got the strap here. I just have to work that a little bit to make it look a little more natural. It's just all, uh, it's all 
bent up right now from, you know, being kind of packed. So, you know, over time it'll probably work itself out here a bit and, and look a little more natural. Uh, just give me a moment here and then I'll, I'll take, the, uh, take the camera off and I'll do a few little more um, kind of uh, flybys on this thing. I'm in handheld mode now, so hopefully I don't make everyone uh, motion sick, but uh, here's the hammer, hammer, and uh, like I said, I'll kind of uh, go in and uh, maybe uh, give you some uh, ideas, maybe a bit better, uh, closer look at it. Uh, here's some of the markings on it. As you can see, it's kind of got that kind of used or weathered look to it, which uh, actually I really like, uh, you know, like say most of the props I usually have, they, you know, they're usually kind of in that kind of pristine look, and I, I like how this one... Uh, you know, they've taken some time to kind of uh, make it look like it's uh, it's been in battle, it's been in use, uh, you know, kind of helped uh, save the world in the Avengers. And uh, like I said, I really, uh, really like the look of this thing, you know, the handle is very nice. You can see the nice little detailing in there. Like I said, I, I, I don't know, to me, I think it's, it's very nice, you know, very nicely done. Uh, a nice leather kind of handle there, you know, they've got the strap, like I say, it's right there. More down on here. It's just a uh, just a nice, nice piece here. Uh, like I said, I'm very, very impressed with it. Uh, very happy. Let's go around here. Turn off the light here. All right, we got the light turned off. Okay, as we can see, some more detailing here. Up the back of the hammer. Just nice, like I say, I'm I'm really impressed with this EFX. It takes a time, some time. You have to be patient with the EFX collectibles. It takes t some time for them to come, but uh, I have to say, when you get them, it, it's very worth it. Like I say, they do great, great work. Like I say, I, I'm I'm not the most uh, most discerning person, so I, I'm sure there's other people who probably have, uh, nitpick this a bit more. But uh, like I say, to my eye, it looks it looks pretty nice. Like I say, I'm I'm satisfied. Uh, like say, like again, the weathering is was kind of I wasn't really expecting the weathering on this, so it's kind of a nice added uh, touch to it uh, for me personally. Uh, zoom in here a bit more just to see a bit more of this uh, detailing on it. Um, you can say just I don't know, it's nice. And here's the base, you know, got the Marvel uh, Marvel logo on it, and then uh, here's the. Uh, Here's uh, the the plaque which comes with it. Uh, like I say you can see I've got uh, one 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 out of one thousand. Some more details here. Just going to uh, I'll put the camera on pause here for a second and then I'll just lift it up and show you kind of the, the kind of the top of the hammer I guess. Okay here so we got the top. It's kind of heavy. It's kind of awkward. I'm holding it with my camera here and also holding the hammer. It's uh, it's heavy but. Uh, this is kind of what you see. We got some uh, markings on the top here. Interesting as well. I don't know. It's just I think this is just great. Just great. I'm gonna pause again uh, and put this back down. It's it's pretty heavy. So here we are uh, back uh, with the uh, Mjolnir and uh, one kind of uh, last shot of it uh, for this uh, video segment. Again, like I said, I'm very happy with this and. Uh, for me to kind of relaunch my uh, Jedi Jeff's basement, uh, this was a really nice piece to kind of uh, kick off that relaunch. Uh, something that I'd been waiting for quite a while, and uh, I normally collect mostly sci-fi stuff, mostly Star Wars stuff, but uh, like I say, this is this has got me excited to have something which is a uh, is different than than Star Wars or sci-fi. You know, this is more the action hero realm, and even more kind of a you know, it's a hammer, so it doesn't got a lot of. Uh, it's got a lot of powers to it uh, that Thor wields, but uh, you know, it, you know, it's not a real futuristic looking piece or anything like that. Uh, like I say, I just have to say, I'm really happy um, that that I have this, and uh, you know, it's got me excited. Like I say, I'm kicking off this podcast again, or it's not a podcast anymore, but a YouTube series now, and like I say, I'm I'm looking forward to um, reviewing more of my items. Uh, as the months go on and uh, I hope everyone uh, comes to enjoy it as well too and uh, and uh, I thanks everyone for uh, for uh, watching the uh, the series and uh, coming back and waiting after I've been away for so long but uh, thank you and 
I'll be back with a, a few more parting shots, but uh, one last shot here. So I hope you enjoyed the uh, the video I just did of the uh, Mjolnir and the review. Like I said, I really enjoyed that uh, piece. I'm really happy with it. Uh, I, I sort of gushed all over the uh, all over my review about it, but uh, I'm really pleased with it and uh, happy to have it in my collection. Uh, like I say, it was uh, like I say, it was a piece which was only limited to a thousand pieces. I wasn't really aware of that when I ordered it. Uh, so it's kind of nice to know that it's not a huge edition size, but uh, I wasn't really that concerned about uh, the amount they made either. You know, I, I just bought it more because I really liked it, more so than uh, for it to have any sort of uh, rare collectible value to it. And, and usually with most of these collectibles anyways, they really don't hold their value all that well anyways. Uh, so it was fun to talk about. Now a little bit more about the podcast, or well, it's not a podcast, but video series and kind of what uh, will be coming up um, uh, so I'll do another one uh, in another month's time or something like that and uh, I'll think about something uh, interesting to uh, talk about or to review uh, I think I might do something a little older so not nothing that's uh, new but maybe something which is a, a few years old you know because I, I see a lot of videos out there and people talk about things that they just got and you know what I really like that and this one I guess this video is just that too you know something brand new which is just out there but you know, there's a lot of collectibles which have come out from uh, you know years past and uh, sometimes it's kind of nice to go back and look at those and uh, you know talk about them review them you know to give people a, a sense of them so uh, I hope everyone doesn't mind that format I'll kind of uh, switch between you know new things and old things uh, probably a lot of old things because I don't get as many new things in as I used to and uh, since I've kind of moved to a more higher end uh, collectible I collect less of less things so I won't have as many um, kind of uh, current things to review uh, I guess uh, the other another segment that I had in the past for my uh, previous podcast was things that I kind of had my eye on and one thing I do have my eye on right now uh, I noticed uh, just kind of came out uh, a couple of days ago about a uh, uh, release from uh, Sideshow Collectibles as I said I'm a, I'm a big Star Wars fan so uh, I always have my own uh, Star Wars collectibles, and they have lots of them, so it's it's not hard to find them. But uh, I've got my eye on a uh, collectible for uh, uh, the probe droid from Empire Strikes Back, and uh, Sideshow Collectibles is coming out with uh, kind of their version of it. Uh, like I say, they just released a pre-order the other day, so I'm going to jump on that and uh, do a pre-order on it. It's pretty expensive. It's like two hundred and fifty dollars or something like that but it's a piece that I really wanted I I know they've had some other ones out in the past um, some other people have made probe droids I think Atticus made one and I think there's also some kind of um, garage kits or uh, fan made uh, probe droids and um, I was just uh, never really able to get one so the chance to get this uh, this sideshow one is uh, just it's just something I can't pass up even though it's expensive I really want to have it I really just Probe Droid was always uh, kind of a droid that I always really wanted, so that's one. It's supposed to be coming out in August of uh, 2014. Uh, we'll see if that actually happens or not. Uh, a lot of times these collectibles, they usually get delayed, so we'll see. But uh, I'll be definitely putting my pre-order in in the next little while on that. Also, too, I'll try from time to time do a little short segments um, for this this video series as well you know not a full kind of um, video like this one was but I'll do a short little one maybe on some lesser um, lesser collectibles or just some other kind of fun topics or something like that and I thought uh, maybe my first one which will come up will be uh, something um, which uh, I think will be a little fun a little fun for me at least this guy here I got this uh, a couple of weeks ago this is a series 2 black black series uh, Boba Fett six inch figure and what I will do in an upcoming uh, video uh, video segment is I will unbox this guy I have a real tough time unboxing things I buy them and I want to take them out but I really struggle so what we'll do in a, in a video coming up is I will take them out I will take them out of this this plastic or cardboard coffin and and uh, give him give him life give him freedom so so uh, keep an eye out for that. Uh, like I say, it should be fun. It'll just be a short little uh, segment, and I'll just talk about this figure and uh, kind of just give my uh, quick, 
quick and dirty review on it and uh, and, and some other thoughts on that. So that'll be something to kind of keep an eye on. So I'd like to thank everyone again for uh, kind of tuning into this uh, relaunched uh, Jedi Jeff's Basement. Um, apologies for uh, the big delay uh, from the, the last podcast to this uh, next uh, episode. Uh, like I say, I just, uh, uh, you know, sometimes you have a tough time. I was having a tough time getting this thing launched because, like I said, I just wasn't really happy with the format and... Uh, I'm not sure why it took me so long to really uh, reevaluate and decide to do this as a as a YouTube type series, and and I think it'll be much better, better for the show, and better for myself. And um, anyways, I'm gonna be um, working harder at uh, making these uh, better production values as well too. So uh, so over time, these videos should hopefully get better. Uh, my presentation as well should get better, and hopefully I don't stumble over as many words and things like that. But uh, I'm just amateur, so I'll, I'll try and do my best. Anyways, if you want to get in touch with me, you always can at uh, Jedi Jeff's Basement at gmail.com. You can also go to the website at uh, JediJeff.ca and you can just post a comment on the uh, on the blog there as well too. And I'll, I'll check those out as well too. Always interested in hearing people's feedback and uh, like say it's it's kind of a fun uh, series. I'm looking forward to doing these video segments and and getting a bit more. Uh, Get a bit more comfortable behind the camera, but uh, I think I've rambled on a bit too long now for this video series. So I'm going to say bye to everyone, and I'll see you next month with uh, a collectible view. It'll be re collectible review. I should get that out properly. It'll be a surprise. It'll be a surprise to myself too because I don't even really decide what I want to talk about yet. But uh, I guess check out check out the uh, YouTube channel uh, next month, and also uh, check out our other podcast as well too. I have a podcast that I'm. Uh, running with a good friend of mine, Rick Moyer. Uh, it's called the Sequest Podcast. Um, we also have some videos on this channel which will relate to the Sequest Podcast. But if you're a fan of Sequest, then uh, definitely check out uh, check out our podcast. It's a, I have a fun time with Rick, and uh, you know I think you'll enjoy it too if you like Sequest. Anyways, I better get out of here now. So everyone, see you, and have a great time. And see you, good night.